Hi travelers and welcome to Page, Arizona, home of Glen Canyon Dam and several natural wonders. Page is located in northern Arizona, right on the border of Utah. Our first stop here is Horseshoe Bend. So one thing to see in Page, Arizona is Horseshoe Bend, which is a bend in the Colorado River. It pretty much exactly looks like Horseshoe. It's pretty cool and I'm sure you guys have seen pictures of it if you've seen any pictures of Arizona. So we're going to hike up, see what it looks like. Hopefully it's as beautiful as everybody says it is. It's one of my bucket list things that I've been wanting to do for a while. So cross your fingers, it looks good. All right guys, so here it is. It's freaking magnificent. Like, it's just so dramatic and it's almost like not real. It's almost like looking at an alien planet, but it's so beautiful and it's right in the U.S.'s backyard. So if you're in the U.S., come see it. A short hike from U.S. Route 89 will lead you to Horseshoe Bend. And after seeing it in so many pictures, it was even more fantastic to see it in person. I highly recommend going here if you're in the area. Alright, so some guy just told us that apparently the first Planet of the Apes was filmed here and in Lake Powell, which is like not long away from here. It's probably like 20 minutes away from here. So that's pretty cool. So right behind me is the Glen Canyon Dam, which is very similar to the Hoover Dam, so it creates energy for the surrounding cities and whatnot, and it's pretty cool. We're getting ready to go across it because the bridge looks pretty high and you get some good shots, so looks like a good view on the top. Okay guys, so this is the turbine and the turbines are inside of the dam and basically the water goes in and makes it spin and it also spins the generator which, you know, generates the energy and that's how the energy is made with water with a dam and that's how, you know, the lights turn on in page most likely so it's pretty cool. So after the energy is generated, it is sent to the substation over here, so it's sent to all the other cities that use the energy, so that's how this dam works. So right now we are getting ready to go to the Antelope Slot Canyon and you guys have probably seen this before in a lot of famous pictures. This is the most photographed slot canyon in the world, so I'm sure you've seen a picture. It's absolutely beautiful. There is two parts of it, the upper canyon and the lower canyon, and we're going to do two, both of them today. So right now we're going to go do the upper. This is the most famous part of it, so you guys will probably recognize this from my videos. And the lower is not as famous, so I'm pretty excited to see what that is for myself. So hopefully it's really beautiful. Hopefully I get some winning shots of it. Upper Antelope Canyon is the most visited of the two Antelope Canyons, which causes it to be quite busy. But despite the crowds, it's still beautiful and I was lucky enough to see some of the famous sunbeams and that's what people flock there for. So 
we just did the upper Antelope Canyon and now we're going to go do the lower Antelope Canyon. So our guide was just telling us that the reason why Antelope Canyon got its name was because Navajo used to trap antelopes down here for their food and they also used to hide here from enemies. So that's a pretty cool detail. Lower Antelope was my favorite. It was less crowded, more organized, and generally more beautiful in my opinion. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to watch my previous video. Happy travels!